today it's pretty big I did the freight the spray paint before um, I recorded um, but yes I'm excited about this painting and um, before I go into more details or before you see the painting I want you all to pause this video and do your I am statements for those of you who are new here I am statements is just you bringing God into whatever you are believing that you are. So I am a prophetic painter and God is the I am. And so every time you say I am, you're using God's name into what you're confessing, as well as life and death is in the power of the tongue. So speak life so that you may um, reap, uh, um, reap life. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope y'all enjoy this video, um, and I'll catch y'all later. This is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. She shall be called woman. It was all woman when you saw you me. Any real people. The other day, a young lady, brown as the melanin in my daughter's eyes, said behind the mic that she hated being a woman. She wanted to know what it meant to be one. I've often wondered the same. Looked around for the teaching of such to tell me of myself. We all learn to be by imitation or indoctrination. Mama and media can't help but train. Tutor us into carbon copies of themselves. So then knowing who we are or what we should be is really understanding whose costumes we wear on most days. Whose skeletons we switch with when Adam took his nap. I was told a woman was independent autonomous, that she needed not a man or moon to keep her in orbit, that she moved about as wind and breeze live without needing permission to interrupt all that is still and under restraint. I was told a woman cannot truly be herself, that is, if herself is not light enough, dark enough, if her hair is no Rapunzel replica or if it be too underground railroad for those cotton acting men to stomach. I was told that my body is neither belonging of me nor its beauty innate but that I am not gorgeous unless told by another woman's son to be so. When did the mouth of men in whose image women are not made and begin to damage us so silently? Maybe it was when we began believing the voices that have no deity in it. I was told a woman should not submit, should not be meek, that that type of behavior was only for women who treated their voice like a secret. I was told not to be a secret, but a siren, to be as machete as I can and honor my opinions at the expense of respect. While some men may believe themselves to have liberty over a woman's body as taught how to destroy as only depravity could predict, we have equally learned how to tear and rip and undo dignity with a mere sentence or squint. It's called strong by society. They tell us that's what a backbone looks like. But beautiful is the spine that remembers where it came from. That lets its knowing of self not be determined by every wind of doctrine and dust, but God himself. We must unlearn the deep misunderstandings that compose themselves as empowerment, as freedom. Liberation has never come by way of unbelief. Eve did not attain life by finding beauty in lies, but only a naked body and a husband that forgot her first name. We women must be smarter, must be wiser, must be bent on loving truth. No matter how contradicting it is to a dying culture, I tell you, a woman is no fool unless she chooses to be if you ask me what is a woman I would tell you that she is a bone made alive with distinctions that set her apart as does the difference between a firefly and a new poem a woman is not a man her calling is not a synonym of inferiority her distinctions are not the child of patriarchy. They come from a creative God. Did you see his fingerprints in your hips? 
the whistling shadow of his mind when your body became home to another name that called you mommy where all the gladness you forgot could exist a woman submits to her God her husband her church she is no weak willed or brittle backed woman but only as strong as humility and faith may identify her to be they say submission sounds like servant they say that sounds like something to rebel against. I say, ain't it funny how being a servant is repulsive to everyone but God and we wonder why we can't recognize his face if you ask me. If you ask me, what is a woman? I would tell you that she is a sister to all. Even those whose blood is not of the same roots but who is still as kin as her mama's firstborn and she treats these sisters like a wintered quilt making sure her mouth does not unstitch that which was made to keep cold hearts warm. We are made up of nurture and everything comfortable. And that is why we feel so deep, why we cry so sudden, because the emotions that make us woman don't make us unstable, but turn us refuge to the chaos where our ribs once sat. We are necessary yeah. and nuanced at best. But a woman should be nothing more or less than what God made her to be if you asked me. What is a woman? I would tell you, ask the God who made her.